What's up? So you already know it's another check-in, another hoodie, no shirt underneath, and pulled up Nike Pro compression shorts. I apologize for that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This is the first check-in in about three weeks. The last time I checked in, I was weighing in at around 151. I jumped on the scale and I weighed in at 145, no more, no less. When I first weighed in, I was at 167. That's uh, 22 pounds down. Now I failed because I said I was gonna try and hit 140 by June 15th. So I'm still five pounds away from my goal, but I'm still making progress, so I'm stoked about that. Let me just jump right into it and show you what it is that I'm working with now in three two one hold on hold on hold on before I show you what 145 looks like and the progress that I've made let me tell you some of the things that I did that ended up causing me to fail so that hopefully you can avoid this I had targeted 140 for June 15th and I started this on April 1st I think that's very reasonable two to three pounds a week for me, um, it's just enough to keep you happy, you're pushing along, not enough to make you miserable. It meant being in a caloric deficit on a weekly basis. So keep in mind how much I was consuming versus how much I was likely burning. It really is all in the food that you're eating. And that's where my first failure happened, was essentially just eyeballing my food. I've said this before, I don't care to weigh my food, I don't care to measure my food, but that was when I was already at 140. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly eating probably like the same breakfast type foods, same lunch, day in, day out, I'm consuming around the same foods, so I had a good idea of what was keeping me where I needed to be. So it was very easy for me to not overeat on calories um, or to take some calories out if I was putting on a little bit of weight. The problem is that with this bulk and hitting 167, once I got to like 155, it started to get really hard and I started to see that the weight was not moving. And it's because I was still eyeballing my foods. It was taking me a lot longer than if I would have just measured it out. I haven't gone to the point where I'm weighing my food yet, but with that, I will say that I did just order a scale to help me with the next five pounds. I have decided that I'm not going to eyeball it anymore, at least not now until I shed the next five pounds off. Now eating out, that's the other problem. Me and my spouse, like we love to eat out or picking something up. Our big go-to is Taco Bell at least once a week. I was actually consuming way more calories from fast food than I thought I was. Um, and that's what was keeping the scale from moving. If you're like me, you can get down on some crunchy tacos, no problem. And I'm just talking like the basic crunchy tacos. I do tend to add tomatoes just because I feel like it makes a difference. No sour cream in them. My go-to order would be like three crunchy tacos, two soft chicken tacos, and like maybe one of those like little cheese roll-ups or like I'll split like a quesadilla with my spouse. That alone was kind of killing any chance that I was gonna have at a caloric deficit because of the other meals that I've had throughout the day. You can look this up, like I, you don't have to believe me, but like a lot of these fast food restaurants, they have the calories on their sites. Like, so whatever it is that you're eating, you can go ahead and check it out. I would definitely recommend you do that. So again, that was a big failure of mine, just like with not measuring and not weighing my food, not taking a look at the calories that each of these foods contain prior to ordering so not being prepared ahead of time and then over consuming just because visually I was like this isn't going to be enough food to put me way past my caloric deficit and I was way wrong not looking for substitutes not looking for alternatives to see what I can consume there that would be maybe half the calories of the three tacos the two soft chicken tacos and like freaking cheese roll-up thing those are just some things to keep in mind another thing that I wasn't doing that was derailing my progress was the fact that I wasn't tracking my food intake. It sounds like a big pain in the butt, but we all, for the most part now, carry phones with us. So it's a lot easier now um, to just 
track down what you're eating real quick and then just forget about it. I started doing that and it's definitely helped. And I would also jot down the calories right next to it. And I've only started doing that over the last week. So essentially I would either look it up, um, either Google it, uh, search it, or use ChatGPT if that's your thing now. I would go off the package, depending on what I was eating, if it was something that was a packaged food, I would go off of the calories there and per the servings and I just jot it down. Doing this also kind of gives you an idea of how much you're actually overeating in calories versus you just thinking that visually there's no way that you're overeating your calories. But trust me, if you start to jot it down and you start to see those numbers next to it, you'll see how much you're actually overeating. It seems like a lot of work, but the big thing for me was that because of the fact that I'm mostly consuming the same foods day in, day out, I only had to do the count of the calories once. So the next time I had like my breakfast, the next time I'd have my lunch, I already knew what to expect. I already knew like how much more I can get away with or how much to remove if I was trying to be within a certain ballpark of calories. Now, one of the things that I would mention that I did that kept me from losing more weight after initially losing the 10 pounds, I was eating less to go from one 167 to 155 and when I got to 155 I was eating about the same to try and go to like 150 or now 145. At 165 I need a different caloric intake than I do now to continue to cut or I need to kick up my cardio or kick up my workouts. It's a lot easier to do the food, I think, than it is to do the exercising or the cardio. You can easily not eat a thousand calories to burn a thousand calories. That's a pain in the butt. Like that's that's so much work. Whatever goal that you're trying to do, whether it's to like lean out more, uh, drop some weight, if you're just not seeing it move, like something needs to change or something that was working maybe just isn't working anymore. So whether it's your caloric intake, whether it's your exercising, whether it's your cardio, something needs to change and like it's gonna be different for everyone. You'll need to tweak things here and there to see what works for you and what doesn't. All right, all right, that's enough chit chat and those are enough reasons or excuses as to why I probably didn't hit my goal. Let me show you what 145 is looking like right now. So, this is 145. Now, it did take me a bit um, to get to 145. That's why <laughs> the last check-in um, has been so long. Um, I think the last check-in was in like the second week of June or around the first. So it was about three weeks ago. Um, and that, that last one, I was at 151. Now, this is flexed. Definitely uh, a bit more cut than at the last check-in. Um, so from 151 to now 145, I do feel like you can see even more definition, obviously. <sighs> Now I am still curious to see um, how much more different 140 would do. So uh, still definitely gonna try and shoot for that. I would highly suggest you not be like me, like do not just kind of ballpark it, especially if you're serious about trying to really lose the weight. It just takes a little bit of time and it makes a world of difference to track your food, to measure it, to keep an eye on some of the calories that you're consuming. The next check-in will probably be um, another two, maybe three weeks. Stay tuned for that. I will be traveling a little bit within the next few days. So I know that I'm gonna derail my journey just a little bit because I am gonna try and relax a little bit on this trip. But yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. This is your boy, Alj, and I'll catch you next time.